Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be testing out some products that I recently picked up because of YouTubers. I buy a lot of makeup. A lot of times I'll just see something on Instagram from the brand directly. It will inspire me and I will purchase the product. Other times you guys recommend stuff and I buy it, but a lot of the times I watch a YouTube video where somebody that I trust talks about a new product and there's just certain products that I'm super intrigued by in those situations. And I feel like I had several of those moments recently so I went out to Ulta and I purchased a bunch of the products that I had heard several people talk about and I'm gonna be testing them out today I'm really excited about this. I'm hoping that we find some more gems I also did buy one thing from Sephora as well But anyways, we're gonna get right into it I do not have my brows on and that's because I picked up the Urban Decay Brow Blade Waterproof Pencil and Ink Stain. I've heard a few people talk about this I believe Tati and also I Love Sarai here on YouTube has talked about it There's been a couple more so I've just really been into it. I love the MAC Shape and Shade Brow Tint. It has a felt tip applicator and this has that and it also has a pencil on the other side. So this is the first thing that we're gonna be trying out. Also, I don't really know who started this tag. I feel like this kind of video has been around for a while and several YouTubers have done it. So if there's somebody that I can give credit to, please comment them down below. I've seen Tati and Kathleen and also Rachel Loves do this as well. So I'll have all their channels linked down below. I'm sure you guys know who they are, but that's who I've seen make these videos before. Okay, this does not have a spoolie, so I'm just gonna take my CoverGirl brow pencil and use the spoolie in this. Let's go ahead and fill in the outer portion of the brow. I picked up the shade Taupe Trap. I think this is supposed to be kind of their universal shade. I hope I'm right. I always make an angry face when I do my brows. I don't know why, it just helps me kind of get the shape better. I'm gonna focus on using the pencil on this outer portion here. And then I'm gonna use the felt tip to kind of create more hair like strokes in the center. So far, everything's applying really well. I really need to like groom my brows. They are getting very out of control. Okay, let's try this. Here is the ink stain side. Okay, let's hope that this works. Okay, I'm just creating hair like strokes. Ooh, all right, yeah, it seems to be working just like the MAC one does. And I'm actually really liking this taupe shade, even though it's a little bit lighter than what I usually use. I feel like the undertone is really good. Wow, I really like the hair-like strokes that that created. Okay, so now that we have the shape pretty much mapped out, I am gonna run a spoolie back through just to make sure that everything is blended. But I really like how my brows look. And I really do like how there's a felt tip and a pencil. I think the MAC felt tip one has like a powder on the other side and I never use that side. So I feel like this type of setup is something that I will actually use both ends of, if that makes sense. And again, I really do like the color of this one specifically. There there's a lot of shades, but I just went with this taupe one and I think it worked out really nicely. All right, so one of the products that I've been so excited to try is this right here from Alme. It's the Alme Velvet Foil Cream Shadow and I saw this because my friend Shelby Wilson here on YouTube, she is one of my favorite YouTubers and just one of my favorite people in general. I feel like I know her really well. We've actually never met in person, but we have known of each other and collabed a few times here on YouTube, not in person. But anyways, I've followed her platform for a long time and she's recently been obsessed with these shadows. This shade in particular is Cupid Glaze and I'm so excited to try this. She's done a couple looks on her channel now using this and it just sold me. Her makeup looks are so amazing. If you guys don't follow her, you need to. I will have her channel linked down below as well. Her looks are so natural and effortless and just always beautiful. So you need to go follow her. You know what? I might actually do my face first and then we can do the eyes later. I just don't feel like there's gonna be too much fallout with a cream product like this. So I'm gonna quickly just do the base. I'm gonna use the Embryolisse Late Cream Concentrate. This is just a primer that I have loved for a long time. It's incredible for dry skin and I feel like my skin's been pretty dry. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this all over the skin just using my fingers. Also you guys, I just wanted to say thank you for all the sweet comments that you guys left on my assumptions tag video. That was such a different video for me and it was so incredibly sweet of you to leave so many great comments. I really felt so much love from you guys after making that video. So I just wanted to thank you for being so kind to me always. For foundation, I really wanted to use this Maybelline 24 hour super stay foundation. I'm just gonna warm up a little bit on the back of my hand and then dot a tiny bit on my skin. And I'm gonna buff this out with the Real Techniques buffing brush. This is a foundation that 
that I tried out a while back and then it just sat in my things for a while. I remember really liking it when I tried it. But for some reason, I just kind of moved on to other foundations in my collection and last month, I think, is when I decided to pull it out again and try it and I feel like I've just fallen in love with it all over again. The key for me has been to use a really nice hydrating primer and then just use a little bit less of the product and you get a really nice full coverage that lasts all day but it doesn't look too overdone in my opinion. It can easily look like a little bit too much with this foundation if you go in too heavy but if you use a light layer, I've just found that it's worn beautifully on my skin and I really like the finish of it. I'm just gonna go ahead and pat that into the skin a little bit more using a sponge. So now that I feel like the complexion is nice and blended out, I'm gonna go ahead and use concealer. I picked up this concealer from Sephora because of my friend Jay Kissa. She posted on her Instagram story, I believe, something about how she had thought she had found her new favorite concealer. And I immediately DM'd her and was like, okay, what is this concealer you're talking about? And she said it's the new Marc Jacobs Accomplice Concealer. I picked mine up in the shade Fair 16. This was a pretty pricey concealer. It was like 30 something bucks, but I had to try it. So I picked it up. Here's the packaging. I'll show you guys up close. It almost looks like a lipstick or something. And then you open it up and it's a stick concealer. So I'm really excited to try this. I'm not really sure how to use it. I'm just gonna kind of wing it. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of dot a little bit underneath the eye area. And I honestly don't know if I should just use my fingers or a sponge or what? Whoa, okay, wow. Oh my word. It's a very unique formula and as I'm blending it out, it is giving the most insane coverage, but it doesn't look like it's heavy at all underneath the eyes. What? Okay, I'm just gonna kind of go over that with a sponge to see what happens. I don't think it picked up any coverage or anything like that. Wow, let's see what happens if we just use a sponge to blend this out. It's a little bit of a thicker formula, which is why I feel like using a brush or something first might be helpful. Yeah, it's still working with the sponge, but I definitely feel like it was a little bit better just dabbing it in with my finger. So I'm just gonna add a little more and press it in with my finger. Well, I think I did a good job choosing this shade as well. This is a really nice shade. It might be too light for this blemish, but we're gonna try it. I'm just gonna dot a little bit on the chin. I might use a sponge for this actually, just to press that in a little more. I'm just kind of like dabbing it onto my forehead and I'm gonna buff it out with a brush just to see what that's like. Yeah, so I definitely feel like it's a very versatile formula as far as how to apply it. You could do it with your fingers, a brush or a sponge. And my under eyes look so nice. I don't know if you guys can see that, but the coverage was really insane, but it doesn't feel heavy and it doesn't look heavy under the eyes. I'm super excited about this. So a little bit does go a long way to be honest. I don't know if this is something that I would use all the time on like my face just because it's a little bit more pricey. So I might just save it for the under eye area, depending on how well it wears throughout the day, but I'm hoping that it does wear well because I am really impressed by it so far. Let's go ahead and set the face. Let's see, let's just use this one. This is my Thrive Cosmetics Translucent Matte Filter Defect Soft Focus HD Setting Powder. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take a small brush. This is the Sigma Soft Blend Concealer Brush, but I love to use it to set my under eye area. If you guys didn't catch my brushes video where I talk about all my current favorite brushes, I will have that link down below because I really do use so many of the same brushes from video to video. So if you've been wondering what my brushes are, I explain it all in that video. I'm just gonna go ahead and set the under eye area first. And I like to kind of press the powder into the under eye area. I also will set the T-zone with this brush. And then I'm gonna take my big fluffy brush and I'm gonna go ahead and set the rest of the face with this, just using the exact same powder. All right, so I'm gonna take the brush that we were just using with the concealer and I'm not gonna add any more product to it, but I'm just gonna take a little bit of whatever's left over on this brush and apply it to the eyelid just to cancel out any redness or veins. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of powder and just dust that on the eyelid as well to prep it for our eyeshadows. All right, now we can get back to this cream eyeshadow. Shelby really inspired this whole look, to be honest. She made a spring makeup look and I was just like, okay, I need to go buy that cream eyeshadow and I need to create something similar. We have very similar taste in makeup and everything that she's recommended to me, I've liked, so I'm really excited to try it. I'm going into the color Pop Sweet Talk palette, and I'm taking this shade right here called Catch Me. This is not a new palette to me. I have used it a couple of times on my channel, but I absolutely love it. And I'm just gonna brush this through the crease just to create a nice pink transition shade. And I'm just really building up that color and buffing it out towards the end of the brow, and also a little bit into this inner portion here. 
And while we're at it, I'm gonna pinch that same brush and run that exact same pink color underneath the lower lash line just to add a little bit of definition there. All right, now we're gonna go into this shade right here and I'm actually gonna mix a little bit of this shade. So Work It and West Side, I'm just gonna kind of dab into both of those colors and I'm gonna build this up a little bit lower than that pink shade just to add a little bit more warmth and definition before going into that cream on my eyeshadow. And I'm just taking that same exact brush with those same two eyeshadows and mixing it and then running it along the lower lash line as well. All right, let's go into this right here. This is the Almay Velvet Foil Cream Shadow and they had several shades, but I picked up Cupid Glaze. And the packaging reminds me of the Glossier um, Cloud Paints. In Shelby's video, she says a little bit goes a long way. So I'm just gonna start with the tiny bit and I'm just gonna take it on my ring finger directly from the back of my hand and I'm just gonna go ahead and pat this onto the eyelid oh my goodness already it is so pretty you guys know how I feel about sparkly things this has a definite sheen and sparkle to it it's not really too chunky of a glitter but it's noticeable which I really am liking same thing on this eye to be honest, I'm not too familiar with this brand. I just recently tried their um, Lip Vibes lipstick, which I actually bought another color of because I really enjoyed the color I tried a couple weeks ago. But other than that, I haven't really tried too much from them. These are new products completely, so I just feel like I'm always stepping up their game. And it's really fun. This is so beautiful. I'm gonna actually add a little bit more to this eye just to kind of even it out a little bit. But honestly, this is so foolproof. It looks beautiful. I'm gonna take a small brush and just pick up a little bit of that from the back of my hand. And I wanna see how it applies with a brush on the lower lash line. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it from the inner corner to about halfway. And it seems to be applying really nicely with a brush, which is awesome. This is so pretty, I can't get over it. And it's really drying down nicely, which hopefully means that it lasts really well on the eyes. It says that it has up to a 24 hour wear time. I'm not sure how true that is, but hopefully it means that it will at least last for as long as you want it to. All right, let's hop into mascara. I'm just gonna be using the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara. This is something that I've talked about a few times on my channel. I have been loving this. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply about one coat of mascara to the top lashes because I'm actually gonna be wearing false lashes. It's been a while since I've worn false lashes, but Shelby inspired me, like I said. I really wanted to create a similar eye look, and she always uses the Ardell Demi Wispies, which I've used in the past, but I actually have not picked up another pair in a really long time, and so Shelby inspired me. She made me buy the cream shadow and lashes. If you guys have prom coming up or anything like that, I feel like this eye look would be stunning with so many different dress colors, and it's so easy. All right, let's pop on lashes. Again, like I said, I'm gonna be using the Ardell Demi Wispies, and I'm gonna be using the Thrive Cosmetics Infinity Waterproof Lash Adhesive to apply these. And I'm just gonna go ahead and run a little bit of glue along the band and then pop them on. It's been so long since I've used these lashes and I forgot how natural they look, but it really helps to emphasize the eyes so beautifully. The glue's still drying, so ignore those white spots, but I'm actually really happy that I picked these up again. All right, so the glue has to dry a little bit more, but that eye look is so pretty and so simple. I'm obsessed. I absolutely love it. So let's move on to bronzer. I picked up the Pure Cosmetics Skin Perfecting Powder, or this is their Bronzing Act Powder, and I picked it up in the shade Light. Raw Beauty Christy was actually the one who made me want to purchase this. It was in one of her videos, and she made it look so beautiful, and she was raving about it. So I found it in Ulta, and I picked it up. It has really cool marbling in it, which I really like. A nice mirror here. The packaging is actually really pretty. I actually don't think I've ever purchased anything from Pure Cosmetics, even though I've heard heard so many good things about this brand. I truly can't think of a product that I've picked up from them, so I'm excited about this. Plus, you guys know how I feel about bronzers. I love a good bronzer. I'm gonna go ahead and dip my bronzer brush into this. Tap off the extra. It smells just like the um, Milk Chocolate Soleil bronzer from Too Faced. Yeah, like so similar to that, which I love. I love that scent. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it to the outer portions of the face, really making sure to buff and blend as I go. So far, the shade looks really, really nice. This came in two shades, I believe. Maybe it came in more. I think I only saw two, I could be wrong. I'll leave a note down below. 
letting you know how many shades there are of this, but so far it's blending out really nicely. Wow, that's pretty. That's a good shade. I'm gonna take the brush that we were using with the translucent powder and just buff over the edges of this just to make sure that it's nice and blended. But I must say, I really like how smooth this is and I also really like the shade, like I said. It just makes my face look really nice and sun-kissed. It's not too red, it's not too orange. It just brings like life to my skin and the right amount of warmth. And it doesn't look like I overdid it either. There's nothing better than a good bronzer. That is pretty. All right, so far so good on that too. For blush, I'm gonna go into my Almar Cosmetics Colorette Blush Trio in the shade Fair to Light. I can't get enough of this, you guys. I seriously have not stopped using it since I tried it, especially this middle shade right here. I like to use the middle shade mostly, and then I'll usually layer over top of it one of the other two shades. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into this shade right here called Paraiso. I'm gonna smile and apply it to the cheeks. This looks so good with this eyeshadow. Are you kidding? It matches perfectly. Oh my gosh. So I'm just gonna go ahead and layer that onto the cheeks, kind of blending it back toward the temples a little. I might honestly just leave it at that because I am loving how it looks with the eye look. I'm gonna take my powder brush and just kind of press over it and maybe buff a little bit again, just to make sure everything's nice and blended. How pretty. Ooh, this look is fun. Let's go ahead and apply some highlighter. I've been so loving this highlighter from Honest Beauty. It's the Honest Beauty Midnight Reflection Luminizing Glow Powder. This is one that you can totally kind of get your brush into and it's not gonna overdo it on the skin. It is the most beautiful natural highlight. If you're somebody who doesn't like a sparkly highlight but you like that lit from within glow, this is so good for that. It honestly does not emphasize texture but it just brings out the most beautiful luminosity. I can't get enough of this. I've been using this pretty much every day since I got it. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it to the center of the nose here, a little on the cupid's bow. It's like my favorite everyday highlighter right now. If I want something a little more intense, I'll use something else, but you can also really build this up as much as you want and it's gonna give you an even more intense glow like I'm doing here. Hopefully you can see that, but it's really able to build up on itself and it's just the most beautiful highlight. I'm obsessed. I'm gonna take a little bit of this on a smaller eyeshadow brush and we're gonna use this to highlight the inner corner of the eye and also a little bit underneath the brow bone. Isn't that just stunning? Oh, I love it. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe off any excess foundation that got on the lips. And we're gonna try out two lip colors that I picked up. Ideally, I want to layer them, but we will see how it goes. First, I picked up the Tarte Sugar Rush Lip Sip Vegan Lip Oil, and I actually heard two people talk about this. Um, Kathleen Lights first, and then Whitney Simmons also mentioned it in her most recent favorites video. And the shade I picked up was Fresh Pressed, and apparently, Kathleen says that these smell like Push Pops. I didn't open them on purpose until I was on camera to catch my initial reaction to see if that's true. Let's smell it. Oh, yes. Oh, I see what she means. That's really nice, actually. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like on the lips, because I do want to see what this looks like on its own first. The formula is stickier than I, like when I dipped it into the tube and then pulled the applicator out, it had like a string attached. So it kind of seems like it's going to be gloopy. But then once I have it on the lips, it doesn't feel as gloopy to me. I don't know. All right, so that is fresh pressed on the lips by itself. It definitely is a little bit more of just a sheer lip oil gloss thing. So it's not going to add any Color. I know they had some that were a little bit more tinted that would have added a little more color than this. It's honestly thicker than I expected and a little bit stickier than I expected. It's not super sticky, but there's a little bit there. Otherwise, it feels really comfortable. So let's try on the lipstick that I picked up and then we'll see how this layers on top of it. I have no idea how well it layers on top of things, but we will find out. So if you guys remember in a recent video, I tried out an Alme Lip Vibes lipstick. This isn't something that I necessarily saw someone else use. I just really like the formula of the other color I used. And when I was at Ulta picking this up, I saw the rest of the shades of this and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give another one a go. This is in the shade Go Wild, and it's just a nice pink. Let's see how this looks all over the lips. 
This is such a pretty color, especially with the blush and the eyeshadow. Oh my gosh, this whole monochromatic thing. You guys know how I feel about monochromatic looks. It's just the best. Wow, I'm loving this whole look. That is such a pretty lipstick. I'm kind of blending out the edges with my finger. I like to do that with matte lipstick sometimes. I just feel like it helps it to not settle into any fine lines that I have in my lips. And if I'm not using a lip liner and it's a light enough shade, I feel like I can really get away with blurring out the edges and it just makes my lips look a little more full. Wow. I really love that. Let's see how this lip oil um, applies on top. The packaging of this is really fun. We'll see how these two pair together. Okay, so I'm kind of just pressing this on top, focusing it in the center. It seemed to layer really nicely on top of that. And I really actually like the combination of the two. That is pretty. Let's step back and assess the situation. As always, we're gonna add a little more bronzer, I think. I don't know why, but I always add more bronzer at the end, especially just on my forehead. I don't know. This seriously smells so good. All right, and then I always like to check up on the brows, especially since I did them first, just to make sure that they still have some shape. I'm just taking the felt pen from the brow blade and I'm touching up the brows just a little bit. Just to make sure we didn't lose any of those hair-like strokes. All right, so the brows are where I want them to be. Let's go ahead and set the face. I have this sitting right here. It's just my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. So, and I'm just gonna go ahead and spray the whole face. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Use my handy fan and just lightly press all over the skin using my sponge to really, really lock everything in. And as always, let's set the brows with the 24 hour brow setter from Benefit. All right, you guys, so that completes the makeup look using products that YouTubers made me buy. And oh my goodness, I love this look. It is so me. Again, this look is so heavily inspired by Shelby Wilson's video. I'll actually have that exact video linked down below, but the eye look is everything that was so easy to do, but it's so stunning. These lashes just add a little bit more glamor to it. You could totally just do mascara if you wanted to tone it down a little bit more, but this specific style of lash really does look super natural. So I love that. The bronzer looks so natural as well. What else did we try today? Oh, the brow products. I love how my brows look. Jeez, I just feel like I had a really successful makeup day. And that on my lipstick with the Tarte lip oil. Uh, hello. This combo is so good. So I'm super excited about everything. Also the concealer underneath the eyes, it looks so beautiful. I'm gonna have to wear the concealer a little bit more. I will leave a note for you guys in the description letting you know how it wore through the rest of the day because I'm really curious to see if this creases or anything like that. Upon application, it was absolutely beautiful. I'm so impressed. It takes a lot for me to go out and buy products that YouTubers recommend, but these specific products I finally caved because either they came from friends of mine who I really, really trust, or if I don't know them personally, like I heard about the same product from a couple YouTubers that I really trust as well. So honestly, I love this look so much if you can't tell. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I will have updates for you as far as these products go so that you can know what I really recommend out of everything. I feel like if there's anything that you should definitely pick up, it's this because it's so easy to use, but it just really packs a punch on the lid. I'm excited about this and I'm definitely gonna pick up more shades. I can't wait. So yeah, just check the description box if you're curious about my full opinion after I've worn it for a few hours. If you're new here. Hi, my name is Ali, and I would love to have you join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, but you want to be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays when I upload, click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. Thanks for watching, you guys. I'm so excited to go somewhere in this makeup. I hope you have an amazing day wherever you are. I want to know what product you've recently picked up because of a YouTuber. Let me know in the comments down below. I always love chatting with you guys. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Love you. Bye.